Welcome back, and uh, we're talking the significance of Egypt's participation in the second edition of the Russian African Summit. Always an honor and pleasure to have with us uh, Professor Dr. Sharif Amir, Professor of International Relations. Uh, Dr. Sharif, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the visit. Thank you. Thank you. Well, holding uh, the second edition of the uh, Russia Africa Summit at this important timing, as we can see it hitting headlines, Dr. Sharif, and attracting global attention. So, the significance of the timing, in your opinion? Well, the significance is very clear to all the international community that Egypt uh, is dealing with all uh, the partners in the world. We have a uh, balanced relationship with all the, the countries. Uh, concerning Russia, we have historical relations uh, since uh, the 1960s, uh, the past century, and up till now. And we have very important uh, projects with uh, our partners and uh, dear friends in Russia uh, concerning the nuclear plant, especially the nuclear plant. Uh, concerning uh, many parts of the investment and other uh, sectors also in the security and military cooperation. So President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is emphasizing this message to the whole world that we would not participate in any alliances against Russia or against anyone because we need to work towards international peace. And all the African countries are, represent are present there also to share this message, and Egypt is a leading country uh, to carry the voice of Africa uh, around the world. Definitely, uh, Dr. Sharif. Well, uh, it comes timely, as we've said, attracting global attention. With the new geopolitical conditions, we find that Africa today is becoming one also of the priorities of uh, Russia's foreign policy. So how do you see the interest in Africa and uh, the, the geopolitical hemisphere, the different conditions that have a lot changed? Well, uh, we all know the past colonial uh, history in Africa, and there was always this tension between the Western bloc, uh, our partners in Africa, and uh, partners in Europe, and uh, also with the United States. Uh, it was very, very uh, unbalanced relationship. It was a relationship of dependence on, on the West. Uh, Af uh, Russia is, is having a new strategy that we are equal partners, that we will integrate projects on your own continent. It's not that lending money and then we will have to uh, make some political favors to the West. This is different. This is equal partnership that uh, preserves our sovereignty. And that's what Egypt called for uh, many years ago, that, and President Sisi called for it many times, that the, the sovereignty of the African countries uh, has to be respected. And I think that this summit should be a clear message to Washington and Brussels, which is the EU, that um, all what we want is equal relationship. We don't want the superiority. Uh, we don't want this unbalanced relationship. I think that President Vladimir Putin was very smart in his strategy, uh, and, and he had also a, a foreign minister, uh, Sergei Lavrov, touring Africa. Um, he has made this uh, kind of uh, contact with all the African leaders, which is the result that we're seeing today, that everyone is at St. Petersburg uh, from the African leaders um, attending this conference. Uh, we are all uh, looking forward for the cooperation. I think that many European countries will understand today that, yes, there, as you said, uh, there is a new geopolitical map. They have to accept it. There is new world order which is shaping. There is the, 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 the theory of the Eurasia, means that there is a, a hot spot or, or power spot in every region, Egypt, Turkey, uh, Algeria, South Africa, Brazil. We are powers in our regions, and they have to accept that. There is no one superpower. This would be over, and President Sisi is working with uh, uh, his counterpart, uh, President Vladimir Putin, on emphasizing that. 
And uh, let me add new, uh, another point, is that today there was a significant declaration about the grains uh, that uh, the, the grains that the, 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 the people saying that uh, Russia was caused the devastation now by retreating from uh, the, the accord of the grains from so Ukraine and Turkey. Well, today there is talks with President Sisi about integrating a huge project on the land of Egypt to, uh, to store these grains and distribute uh, to Africa. This puts Egypt on the top of the distribution of grains in the world. Yeah. And this shows that Russia uh, wasn't aiming to starve the country. We have now Egypt as uh, the hub of grains instead of Turkey. And this would put us in a very, very developed position. And there is another point also, which I saw that President Putin was very smart by doing it, that before meeting President Sisi, he met the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed, that for talking about the crisis of the Renaissance Dam, because we have to find a solution for that. So I think there is a huge harmony between both leaders, a yeah. huge harmony between Egypt's foreign policy and Russia's foreign policy. We are aiming towards equal relationship. We are underlining this, and we are making uh, clear, very clear to the whole world, there is no one superpower, there is no one superiority, there is equal relationship, there is partnership. Everyone in this world needs another country to support its politics. Yes. Uh, Dr. Amir, uh, well, a final question, if we would say, uh, what mm -hmm. sort of opportunities will this important summit open for Africa? What would be the fruits of uh, this high-level communication uh, with Russia at the second Russia-Africa summit? Look, uh, we all know that Russia uh, is present in Africa. This is not a new thing. Uh, I think it will contribute in solving many conflicts. They're, part, they're present in, in Sudan to the Wagner uh, paramilitary group. They're present in, uh, in Mali. They contributed in fighting terrorism. So this is the security part. They are doing a good job in it. The second part, as I told, and also they are present in Libya. As I told you also, the project, they are doing projects inside Africa. Uh, so uh, this would have the economy, the African economy. And the last and third point, as I told you also, about the, the, the Renaissance Dam, they will contribute uh, in solving crisis that has no, um, that no one, uh, even the UN, didn't, uh, didn't try to solve it. So right. I think that the Russian mediation would be very important in that. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Dr. Thank Sharif you. Amir, Professor of International Relations, for talking to Night TV International. Thank you.